Welcome back to Ecom Printables. In this video, I'm gonna quickly show you how to sell digital products on Shopify. Now, obviously you can sell on Etsy, you can sell on TPT, you can, there's probably other platforms. Well, I know for a fact there's other platforms, but those are the main ones that you're gonna to wanna to go and publish your uh, products on as well. If you're already hiring and outsourcing and paying for products, or you're spending a lot of time and effort creating the products, you may as well get the most bang for your buck, which is to, sell on Etsy, TPT, and then also I recommend starting a Shopify store so you can also rank your site on Google and get traffic there as well. That way you're not putting all of your eggs into one platform that could shut down your account or could, um, you know, it, they are definitely getting saturated. Uh, so you're always wanting to pump, in, pump out new products and compete with everybody else. Uh, so having your own site is the best way that you can stand out um, and get traffic in, uh, you know, it takes an extra effort. It costs money to have Shopify, about $30 a month. Uh, but you're going to separate yourself from the pack um, by having a Shopify store. Um, and then you can also, I'll show you how to sell the digital product on there. You do need a special plugin in order to make this happen. All right, so let's jump in. So real quick, uh, here is a keyword research list uh, that I pulled from Ahrefs. Uh, Ahrefs uh, costs $100 a month. Um, I believe you can, I'm not sure if you can get a trial or not. Maybe you can get like a, a one week trial or something like that. But uh, nonetheless, you can use any keyword research tool that you have, or you can just go on some uh, Etsy or TPT and start searching for the niche that you're in and find other products and such. I'm going to show you one right here. And I found uh, this right here is arrow clip art, right? So I've got this keyword arrow clip art arrow clip art and it gets uh let's see 6200 searches a month um that is that's insane right so we're going to go with that you can see that i um went ahead and created this product outsourced it to my uh, designer and then um we are going to go and check this out right so this is kind of how i do my uh, keyword research i have this list over here of keywords that we're going to go and create products based off of so there's different methodologies. You can create your products based off of what you see other people doing, or you can base it off of actual data, which I do that is, uh, you know, the, the main keyword that's going to get uh, a lot of traffic and that you're going to target for that product. So we're inside of the Shopify account. Um, I can do more tutorials on Shopify. If you guys want me to do more tutorials on Shopify, just type in Shopify below in the comment section. That's really helpful. Um, so we're going to come over here and let's see. In order to get to the app section, you're going to just come down here, hover over on the left-hand side, and then we're going to go to apps. And then you're going to see what I've installed, what I've uh, used in the past for different things. Um, and you're going to need this. Um, there are other tool um, apps, so you're going to have to choose which one, but this digital downloads works really, really well. So if you head over to apps.shopify.com, you're going to go over here and you can type in digital downloads, just select that. And then all these different options are going to show up, right? Now I have made sales on this site. I haven't done any SEO on the site or anything like that, but I am planning on growing the site. And if you want to join me on my journey to see how well I'm able to grow my Shopify digital um, printable store, then you're going to want to make sure to subscribe to Ecom Printables so you can get updates and tips and tricks um, along the way. Now, there are plenty of these uh, apps. Now, I installed this probably a year ago. So there could be other ones that have better, uh, uh, you know, obviously there's an ad that's going to be a paid app. It's going to cost money, free plan available. But when you have um, things like that, free plan available, it it, I, I usually don't like to get into those unless I um, am willing to pay because you know how it goes. You're going to, you're going to outgrow it. You're going to need the paid plan. So um, there are other ones right over here. So this one, sky pilot digital downloads, this one actually looks pretty good, um, but it does say free plan available. Not sure about that one. The only one that is free, free, right? hundred percent free is this digital downloads right here. It has a 3.1 star rating. I don't know why it doesn't get a five star rating. Uh, it is ba uh, tried and true and tested out of 351 reviews. It's going to have the most reviews out of any other digital download app. Um, and you know, I haven't had any issues at all with delivery. Uh, it's, it's really simple to use. So I don't really know why it gets a 3.1 star rating. It works great. So you're just going to click on it. Uh, we can go check it out. Um, you just push this add to app and it'll add it to your account. Um, and you can go look at ratings and so forth, but, um, it makes it really, really easy to do this. Okay. So next, what you're going to do is you're going to, we're going to add a product and I'm going to show you kind of some different methodologies and ways that I'm going to get descriptions and things like that. But generally speaking, 
you're going to go over here. You're going to go over to uh, products. You're going to click on products and then you're just going to go to add new product, right? And remember, this is digital products that we're, uh, that we are uploading. So, um, I have that arrow clip art, right? So I want to go back over to our keyword list over here. And we know that it's arrow clip art that is that we really want to target and try to rank for. So I'm going to put that in. I'm going to capitalize everything arrow clip art. And we know that it's like a 30 pack. Um, so I might put a dash and say 30 um, pack download instant download png something like that and then you could if you wanted to put 2023 20, that it was just it was just made something like that and it was just made a couple days ago actually um so we're going to just for fun um that you're going to have probably a standard uh, description that you're going to put in your description box uh, about your store or some things that they need to know about it but generally speaking you can use any ai writer you can write this yourself i'm going to go and see what um chat gpt can come up with for us right so this tool is really really cool i'm sure you've already heard about it i've been using it uh, in my business and it's been working really really good so uh we're gonna go over here and just say give me a um an e-commerce um description description for my shopify store um on this product and i'm going to put the product in and then i'm just going to push enter and we'll just see what it comes up with uh it, you know, we'll see how accurate it can come up with uh for us uh it's going to add some flair to the description at least uh, which can help maybe um sell the product add a touch of sophistication to your designs with our arrow clip art pack so arrow clip art is a keyword so it's actually optimizing that keyword as well which is really cool uh, we can also tell it to be, uh, you know, SEO friendly, things like that. This pack includes 30 high quality PNGs, each featuring a unique arrow design, personal, perfect for use in logos, invitations, posters, um, instant download allows you. So it's perfect, right? So we're going to go ahead and grab this. Um, and then you can obviously add more. So right here you can say expand and also mention this is great for education, kids, um, teachers in the classroom, and uh, parents. And then we can just push enter, right? So it's going to go out and it's going to do that for us. Um, I forgot to put SEO friendly in there, uh, but our arrow clip art pack is not only perfect for professional designers, but also great for education and home. So it is uh, going to add that in right there. So that's pretty good. I think I'm going to actually go with both. Um, so we're going to go back to our Shopify store. I'm going to paste this as uh, plain text. Um, let me go and yeah, if you paste it, it's going to basically be the same uh, either way. So paste as plain text. Um, then you're going to want to, you know, give some spaces right here. So it's easier to read get rid of the quotations. We don't need the quotations. I'm going to go and push enter a couple times right there. We're going to go back and get the rest, which is really, really good right here. Just like so copy that, go to Shopify and we're going to right click paste as text. All right. So we have a nice description. Uh, we can also go and highlight all this. I think it's probably about a hundred words or so word counter. Uh, we're at 200 words, not bad. Um, so then next, uh, you can obviously expand on your description. You can add, uh, bold things. You can, uh, you know, do anything you need to, um, add links in here, add images inside this box right here if you want to, but let's get to, before we do anything else in here, we've optimized the title, uh, for SEO right there. We've often optim optimized, um, the description, right? And then what we can do now is I like to just go with draft, uh, for now, um, I do like to turn off, uh, like right now I don't charge tax and then, um, track quantity. We don't really track the quantity and then we turn off shipping right there and you can put, um, those, you can put defaults on those. So you don't have to do that every time. Uh, I did have those as default, but I haven't been in my shop shop in a while. Um, and then you're going to just go with save. So we have a product under draft mode, but here's how you, um, 
add the digital product, right? This is how this is the important part. We already installed the digital um, file plugin, right? Digital downloads plugin. So now all we do is just go to more actions over here, add digital file. And this is where you're going to add your digital file for this, right? So we're going to add this file. I'm going to go over to downloads and we have a zip file right here with all of our arrows in it. And we're just going to say open. And this has all 30 PNGs inside that zip file. So it's, um, I haven't used this in a while. I don't know if you can, it looks like you can add multiple files because I got an email the other day that said that there's been an update and I've used this for a year. Um, there's been an update to this, um, this software, this app, right? And this is definitely an, uh, uh, this definitely looks new. So they've actually upgraded the tool. It's, it's great. You can actually add more files in here. If you have a PDF, you want to add, you want anything else, you can add multiple files before you could only add one file, I believe. So this is really, really cool. Um, there's more settings over here, um, I believe, but we don't need to mess with that. So we have this attached. All we have to do is just push publish. This just um, updated and published it to our product, right? So then now we can go back over to our product. Just click on newest up here. You have your arrow clip art. We're not done with it. It's still in draft mode. So I'm going to go click it again. And then when, when we're in here, let's see. That was a little weird. I was having a hard time getting back to this screen right here, okay? But we got back to it and we need to just continue. So we already know we added the digital file over here, right? So now it is attached to the item. At any time you can go and uh, you can actually check um, this out by just clicking on it. It'll tell you what you have attached. If you need to make adjustments to the file, uh, delete or replace the file. You can also duplicate. Once you get an item that's really similar, you can just duplicate from here to create your next product, which is super cool. All right, so then now you would just add your media files. So let's see if I can do that. Add files. And we're going to go in here to mockups. We have our arrow mockups right here. And I'm going to see if I can do, yep, all three at the same time. They're all going to upload right here. And so need to get that one fixed right there. But uh, nonetheless, so that's how that would work. And then you'd put your pricing on this, right? So let's say $2.99 for it. And then the rest is history, right? You can come over here. You can add this to a collection, right? So we need to... I will need to add a new collection to put uh, my new clip art in um, and so forth. And right over here, since this is clip art, we could say clip art. And there we go. So we're just gonna go back down and say save. And then we will change. The last thing you need to do is go to product status under draft and make this active in your store and push save. And now it is active in your store. All right, so here we go. We have the product type, and then you can go in and just uh, view this on your online store. And this is what it looks like, right? You can hover over it, it zooms in, uh, depending on what theme you have. Here are the images of the product, right? Um, and then it's for $2.99. People can go in here and pay. Super cool stuff. All right, so hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video on uh, how to sell digital products on Shopify, and more particularly, how do you upload your digital product on Shopify and, um, you know, start making sales with Shopify. So, um, make sure to subscribe, make sure to like the video. I'll see you in the next video.